Since Kikert's first appearance in the PCB CAD world in 1992, he's gone through six major versions and evolved into a series of alternative to commercial products. I've been using Kikert almost daily since version 4 when I published the first edition of Kikert Like a Pro. Once thought clunky and barely usable, it's now a solid, reliable CAD application. Kicket has been consistently closing the feature and performance gap against its commercial competitors. It's made leaps in adding powerful features and has significantly improved its stability. Combined with the benefits of free and open source software, I believe that Kicket is simply the best PCB CAD software for most use cases. One of those benefits is Kicket's very active and growing community of users and contributors. Kikad has a dedicated developer team, supported by contributing organizations like CERN, the Raspberry Pi Foundation, and Arduino LLC. The community is also active in contributing funds to cover development costs. Since joining the Linux Foundation, the Kikad project has received around $90,000 in donations. The project used this money to buy development time and funding developer conference travels and meetups. To a large extent, this alone guarantees that Kikert's development will accelerate and continue into the future. Supporting the Kikert core team is the Kikert community. The community consists of over 250,000 people worldwide that have downloaded a copy. These people support the Kikert project in various ways. They write code, create and share libraries, and help others learn. They write documentation, record videos, report bugs, and share hacks. During the Kikert 6 development cycle, the Kikert repository had around 14,600 commits from the community. Based on this number, Kikert 6 is the most significant Kikert version ever in terms of changes committed. Another signal of the strength of the Kikert community is that Kikert 6 includes completed or nearly completed translations to nearly 20 languages. No other CAD software that I'm aware of can boast this. PCB manufacturers also have taken notice. Many of them now publish Kikert specific tutorials explaining how to order your boards. Some have also made it possible to upload the Kikert native layout file from your project instead of generating multiple Gerber files. And finally, Kikert is part of an expanding CAD ecosystem. You'll find Kikert compatible component libraries on the internet's major repositories such as Snapheda and Octopad, as well as native support in PCB project version control software for teams such as catlab.io. Kikert's development and prospects have never been brighter than now. Kikert's roadmap has exciting new features and capabilities such as grouping board objects into reusable snippets and a stable Python API. Why do I use Kikert? Because it is the perfect PCB software for my use case. I'm an electrical engineer with a background in electronics and computer engineering, but above all, I'm a technology educator and electronics hobbyist. The majority of my PCB projects eventually find themselves in my books and courses. My projects are very similar to those of other hobbyists in terms of complexity and size. I make things for my Arduino and Raspberry Pi courses. As a hobbyist, Kikad proved to be the perfect tool for me. Your use cases may be different. You may be a university student completing an engineering degree. You may be a hobbyist or solo developer working in a startup company. You may be part of a team working on commercial projects that involve highly integrated and multi-layer PCBs. And to help you decide whether Kikad is the right tool for you, I've compiled a list of 12 Kikad benefits. This list contained 10 items in the second edition of the book, and I've added the last two items to highlight additional benefits brought about with Kikert 6. So here they are. Benefit one, Kikert is open source. This is very important, especially as I spent more time creating new and more complicated boards. 
Open source by definition means that the code base of the application is available for anyone to download and compile on the computer. It is why Linux, Apache, and WordPress essentially run the internet, and all of them are open source. While I'm not extreme in my choices between open source and closed source uh, software, whenever a no-brainer open source option does appear, like KiCad, I take it. Benefit two, it is free. This is particularly important for hobbyists. CAD tools can be expensive. This is worsening with most CAD software companies switching to a subscription-based revenue model. When you are a hobbyist or student or bootstrapping for a startup, regular fees do add up. Not to mention that most of us would not be using even half of the features of commercial CAD software. It is hard to justify spending hundreds of dollars on PCB software when there is KiCad. And this brings me to benefit three. Benefit three, KiCad is unlimited. There are no standard premium and platinum versions to choose from. It's a single download and you get everything. While there are commercial PCB tools with free licensing for students or hobbyists, there are always restrictions on things like how many layers and how big your board can be, what you can do with your board once you have it, who can manufacture your board, and much more. And there's always the risk that the vendor may change the deal in the future where you may have to pay a fee to access your own projects. So I'll say this again, KiCad is unlimited and forever. This is so important that I choose to pay a yearly donation to CERN that is higher than the cost of an Autodesk Eagle license to do my part in helping to maintain this. Benefit four, KiCad has awesome features. Features such as interactive routing, length matching, multi-sheet schematics, configurable rules checker, and differential routing are all professional grade. While you may not need to use some of them right away, you will use them eventually. It can add new features through third-party add-ons. The external auto router is one example. The ability to automate workflows and extend capabilities through Python scripts is another. Benefit five, KiCad is continually improved. Especially since CERN and Society Foundation became involved in their current capacity, I've seen a very aggressive and successfully implemented roadmap. When I wrote the first version of this list in August 2018, KiCad 5 was about one month old. The funding for KiCad 6 was already complete and the roadmap living document was published. Three years later, KiCad 6 was delivered with promises fulfilled. Now, with KiCad 6 published, the roadmap for the future looks just as exciting. Benefit 6. KiCad's clear separation of schematics and layout is a bonus to learning and using it. Users of other PCB applications often find this confusing, but I believe that it is an advantage. Schematic design and layout design are indeed two different things. Schematic symbols can be associated with different footprints that depend on the project's requirements. You can use the schematic editor independently of the layout editor or in sync. I often create schematic diagrams for my courses that I have no intention of converting into PCBs. I also often create multiple versions of a board using the same schematic. This separation of roles makes both scenarios easy. Benefit seven, I can make my boards anywhere. I can upload my project to any online fabricator that accepts the industry standard Gerber files. I can upload it to an increasing number of fabricators that accept the native KiCad layout file. And of course, I can make them at home using an etching kit. Benefit eight, KiCad works anywhere. Whether you are a Mac, Windows, or Linux person, you can use KiCad. I use it on all three platforms. I can take my KiCad 6 project from the Mac and continue working on Windows 10 without worrying about any software or project file glitches. 
Benefit 9. Kicket is very configurable. It can assign your favorite keyboard hotkeys and mappings, and together with the mouse customizations, you can fully adapt it to your preferences. With the additions of the plugin system and Python API, you'll be able to extend your instance of KiCad with the exact features that you need, or you'll be able to write those features yourself. Benefit 10. If you are interested in creating analog circuits, you'll be happy to know that KiCad ships with SPIES. You can draw the schematic in EE schema and then simulate it in SPICE without leaving KiCad. This integration first appeared in KiCad 5 and is now a stable feature. Benefit 11. In the past, KiCad's release cycle was chaotic. New merger versions would come out every two or three years, but no one really knew ahead of time for sure. In the future, KiCad will operate in a yearly release cycle. This is good for two reasons. One, commercial users who can now better predict how the software that they depend on will change and when. And two, as KiCad users, all of us will be able to expect a reliable development schedule that prioritizes reliability. KiCad is now mature enough to be able to evolve predictably. Benefit 12, KiCad is now a serious productivity tool for businesses. If you are an electronics engineer, you can proudly list it in your resume. If you are using it in your business, you can contract KeyPro, the KiCad Services Corporation, to customize the software to your exact requirements. I'm talking about deep customization here, not just changing the theme and the menu bars. This means that KiCad can fit precisely with your business. As far as I know, no commercial CAD application can do that. For the non-business users among us, we can expect many of these business-led improvements to flow into future software versions in the tradition of open source software. These are the 12 most important reasons I've chosen KiCad as my tool of choice for designing PCBs. These reasons might not be suitable for you, but I hope that you will consider going through this course first before making your own decision. Over the last seven years, I've packed almost everything I've learned as a KiCad user in this course. I've organized it in a way that will make learning KiCad quick. The objective of this course is to make you productive by the time that you complete the first project in part four. If you come from another PCB CAD tool and have experience designing PCBs, I only ask that you have an open mind. KiCad is most certainly very different from your current PCB tool. It looks different and it behaves differently. It will be easier to learn it if you consciously put aside your expectations and look at KiCad like a beginner would.